Welcome back to the channel and of course we are back again with our daily PGV update. So I want to say thank you for the support on yesterday's videos. They did really, really well. You guys seem to like my sort of passive income update. So I might be doing more of those in the future. And of course, still be covering PGV. Remember the normal disclaimer that nothing in this video is financial advice. Please always do your own research and only invest what you are willing to lose. So first off, taking a look at PGV today, we can see the total gems is now up to 11.93 million and i'm pretty sure we will cross the 12 million in total gems which is total deposits today gem bots is still trading with 8.2 million refunds are still around the same about 700,000, and gems harvested are at 1.8 million so again pgv currently for this week is paying one percent per day this will be paid today and tomorrow february 14th however on february 15th there will be a new percent for the week so tomorrow's video you'll see me claim my gems again i've got five thousand dollar investment so that is fifty dollars per day so by tomorrow we should be set at one thousand two hundred and thirty dollars which we will claim in that video which will be very nice to see again the refund thing this is just bugged on the website the team are focusing on refunds and then I'm sure eventually they will get around to fixing this element here. So of course, BSC uh, USDT refunds are still in progress. Then it will be Tron and then after Tron, it will be Polygon. So we'll head into the Discord and see the new posts of regarding PGV. Here we can see there's a post from Manny yesterday evening. Hope everyone has been enjoying their weekend. Just an update. We'll be back to refunds in the next nine hours. Have some family things to take care of. From there, we'll be working straight for the next five days. Looking forward to finishing up BSC refunds early this week. Then moving on to Tron and Polly. So there you have it. He's, of course, finishing the refunds. Well, obviously taking a break over the weekend. I'm sure most of us do. To be fair, in the refund policy, it does say... Um, where is it? In the actual policy it says about the not working refund uh not working on refund refunds over the weekends i completely butchered that one so i guess of course he took the weekend off that's fine and then he will be back to doing refunds well basically monday to friday this week and i'm sure it's probably his aim to get all of them wrapped up this week so we'll wait to see on that front again if you haven't had your refund yet, you still can do the recompounding. For those wondering, on the if you're still in VSC USDT, you click on the contract, click contract, write contract, connect your wallet, and once it is connected, go reinvest and then write. Of course, if you've already had a refund or if you don't have enough, you'll get this error saying you can't estimate the gas because the transaction will fail. But if you have enough, you can of course reinvest. I had a few people asking me if they can do this on Tron and Polygon. Yes, you can. Again, it's the same. Head over to Tron, click on the contract. Then you want to go over to contract here, write contract, um, reinvest, and then send that. Of course, you need to collect your wallet. Use like Tron link for that one. And Polygon is exactly the same as BSC. You go contract, write contract, reinvest, and then write. So it's a pretty simple one. If anything, you're in a better position if you haven't had your refund yet because you're still earning two percent per day it, uh, again well uh, the new usdc contract is paying one percent per day currently we will get a new update percentage on wednesday the 15th so maybe it can go up don't really know yet but if you're in the old contracts you're getting a flat two percent per day every day you can reinvest that and whatever you reinvest will be added to your refund so again, I want to say when I submitted for a refund request on USDT, my balance was six or seven hundred dollars. And by the time I actually got it just from the reinvestments, I got nine hundred and fifty because, of course, it was paying two percent per day that whole time during the delays, etc. So if you're waiting, it is still kind of looking good for you. So in yesterday's video, we covered that. Right, it was a big post from Manny saying that there was a little over 800 refunds left. If we look at the June, we can see active wallets 
Last video was 1,900, now it's 1,700. Again, remember this number is wrong. This is not the actual amount, but I would say if you knock off 1,000 or 900, maybe this was the number actually, because it was 7,2. So I don't think there have been any refunds in the past 24 hours. If we scroll down here, we can actually have a look. So yeah, the 13th, there's been no refunds today so far. Yesterday there were over 100, well no, just under 100, yeah, 150 refunds yesterday. There have been none today so far. Obviously Manny's time zone, he's five hours behind, so it's really early in the morning for him. But once he gets up, he will get back to the refunds. As we can see, these refunds are where well, he normally works until well, 6.30 a.m. UTC, which is around 1 a.m. for him. And we can see the refund feed. I like that they have actually added this section here. If we actually try to find the time that he starts doing the refunds per day, it is normally around here. So he did a few at, well, 3 p.m. UTC. Not too many, though. And then I feel like the bulk of them start at around 10 p.m. UTC, which, of course, Manny's time. That would be 5 p.m. Then he works for a few hours doing the refund solidly from 10 p.m. Then he took a break for two or three hours and then started again at 1 a.m. UTC, which of course for him would be, what is that? 8 p.m. I think I've got that right. <laughs> and then, yeah, he works through the night. So I'm sure we will start seeing refunds again today, but probably after the time this video is coming out, because I do upload these every day at 2 p.m. UTC, you'll probably start getting more refunds coming through in the evening. But you can check the June and see the latest refunds here. And this will, well, of course, by looking at the time, you'll be able to see if refunds are happening right live at that time. Because again, there's no notifications. You just have to check your wallet. So just check every day, pretty much. I know for sure BSC USDT will be completed by the end of the week. For Tron and Polygon, maybe next week at latest. But I think Manny's goal is to try and get them all done within the next week, if that is possible. Who knows, but at least try and get the BSC USDT contract done within the next couple of days. Because there's, well, it's around 800 wallets was the last thing, a little over 800 wallets. So if we just knock off a thousand on this number, we'll call it 800 or knock off 900, we'll call it 872 wallets. If he can do 200 a day, that's like four days. I know in one day alone, he did over 600 refunds. Yeah, he did um, 700 refunds in one day. So it could technically be possible for Manny to do them all in one day. But of course, he's going to be working a long time, 24-7. So I'm sure it'll probably be, I'd say, three days for BSC USDT. My, I reckon Wednesday the 15th, the day will be done. Place your bets down below. If you've had your refund again, drop it in the comment section down below so other people can know. I know it's more of the larger wallets now. As we can see with the refunds amounts, they're kind of getting larger. So it seems like it was what, around $1,300, now $500. Again, my refund was $950. Let me know if you have had a refund for more than around $1,000, but over $2,000 if you had a refund for that yet, because I think they're probably going like low to high. Because they said they're sorting out these smaller balances first. But um, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this one. Not really too much. But tomorrow will be exciting. It's claim day. And yeah. I'll see you guys tomorrow for another video.